Hello friends. Today we will see how cycloid can be drawn. Now, very first thing, what is cycloid? Cycloid is a curve that can be traced by a point which is present on a circumference of a circle which is rolling on a straight line path. So once, if any circle is rolling on a straight line path and you are going to trace any point present on that circumference of a circle, that curve is called cycloid. So as per the problem, we are supposed to draw a cycloid curve for a diameter of 40 mm. So very first thing, we will draw a circle of diameter 40 mm first. So this is a circle of diameter 40 mm. Now we know that this circle is rolling on a straight line path. So we can draw a straight line path here. But what should be the length of this straight line path? Because circle will be completing one complete revolution so that when it will complete one complete revolution when it will be rolling a distance that must be equal to what circumference of a circle so this length must be a pi d length so you should mark here you will mark this pi d length on this straight line path now it's time to divide the circle into equal number of parts here I am going to divide this circle into 8 equal number of parts. And I will name these points 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8. So what are the points you are getting on the circumference? From those points draw straight horizontal lines moving towards the right. We must show the direction or sense of rotation of that uh, circle where it is moving. So as it is moving towards right hand side, this sense of the rotation would be clockwise. Now we want to trace any point present on the circumference of a circle. Let's say that point is P. I am taking initially point P which is in contact with the horizontal surface. So this point P is supposed to be traced here. As we have divided the circle into 8 number of equal parts, we are supposed to divide the straight line also into 8 number of equal parts. But if you see center line and the straight line path, that these lines may just distance of 125.6. And it's very difficult to divide this line into 8 equal number of parts. In that case, you have another option to draw 8 cm line or 16 cm line where you can mark 8 equal divisions. So this line can be made at any suitable angle from point P in downward direction and then you can divide this line into 8 equal parts. Once you draw the line straight line between these two end points, end point of this slanted line and end point of this straight line path. From it, we can see that the straight line path also divided into 8 equal parts. But we wanted to divide the center line into 8 equal parts. So straight away, these projections on straight line path will take vertically upward on center line to divide that center line into 8 equal parts. You can name these points C1, C2, C3 up to C8. Now here, Every one division on circle will be exactly equal to what one division on this center line path, right? Because these are what eight equal number of points on circumference distance only. So whenever circle will be rolling and moving one division ahead, like from center C to C1, then C1 to C C2, C2 to C3, point P also will be moving on the circumference by one equal division each time. So the very first time when circle will be rolling and shifting from point C to C1, point P will be shifted from point A to point 1. So that point P also going to be shifted in one division. So here we can see when center will be moving from C to C1, P will be moving from 8 to 1. 
but circle might have rolled in forward direction. So we have drawn a line passing through point 1. So what we are going to do? This distance C to P is not going to be changed at all. So we will take this distance CP in compass and that distance will cut an arc from point C1 on that line which starts from point 1. So here we get the first point. The next time when circle will be shifted from C1 to C2, obviously the point which is present on point 1 now will be moving to number 2. So from C2, we will cut an arc on a line which starts from point 2. The distance will be the same, that is what C to P, that is the radius of the circle only. So, we are not going to change the distance in the compass which is equal to CP, that is the radius of the circle. Here you get another point at line 2. Now, as circle will be shifting from C2 to C3 as a center, point P will be moving from 2 to 3. So, you are going to cut an arc from point C3 on a line which starts from 3 and this distance will be again CP distance that is the radius of the circle you will get the third point. Like that you will get fourth point as well from C4 you will cut an arc on line which starts from point 4. Now when you come to the point 5 here like circle will be shifting from C4 to C5 obviously point P will be moving from 4 to 5 so you will cut an arc on a line which starts from 5. But you can see here, as point 5 is lying on right hand side of center point here, so you will be taking C5 as a center and you will cut an arc on right hand side of C5. So you will get another point, fifth point. Similarly, from C6, you will cut an arc on a line which starts from 6. From C7, you will cut an arc on a line which starts from 7. And from C8, you will cut an arc which starts from 8. So, originally it is coming to the same positions. So, once you get all these respective points, now you can draw a smooth curve passing through all these points. So, friends, this is cycloid curve where you can see we have trace point P which is present on the circumference of a circle when circle is rolling on a straight line path for its one complete revolution. So that's it for today. We have seen the cycloid. There are some other types of cycloids are also there. One of them is epicycloid and second one is hypocycloid. Till then you can practice these curves. Thank you.